this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul Amadeus laying in the tech zone. Welcome to the tech zone. We on our tech flow. And there's still a global market in case you didn't know. So many guests, we not trying to impress. Just want to pass off the info. You can do the rest. See, there's no escaping tech. It's part of our lives. Keep every individual connected worldwide. But all this innovation is more than entertainment. It's people like you paving a new way every day. So let your imagination run wild with all the things that you dream about. Cause the tech zone is on now with Paul Amadeus Lane. Blah. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul Amadeus Lane in the tech zone. Hello and welcome to this edition of the tech zone. I am Paul Amadeus Lane. And I'm so happy to have you with me on the show. I'm back. I was gone for a few weeks covering Comic-Con. If you've been checking me out on the Twitter or rest of social media, then you know what I've been up to. If not, shame on you. You have to follow me. I'm just joking. But I do want you to follow me. PaulAmadeusLane.com is the best way to, to follow me. We're doing some revamping to the website. It'll be released soon. So we're so happy about it the expansion and some of the the great things that are happening while i was at comic-con i saw some great technology yeah you heard me right technology we're going to be joined by a member of that tech team and talk about what they were doing at comic-con and how this technology can help you and your family coming up in the second segment of the show I'm going to be joined by an accessibility and gaming icon. Ian Hamilton will be joining me. Now, some of you in the gaming world, you know who Ian is, especially when it comes to accessible gaming. I was able to catch up with him all the way in London. He's going to be joining me talking about what got him into accessible gaming and how are things going in that field and other great things. So you don't want to miss that. In our third segment of the show, I got invited somewhere. I got invited to the sneak peek media event for the new Marvel's The Amazing Spider-Man game. Hopefully I said that right. I want my friends over at PlayStation to beat me with a stick because <laughs> I got it wrong. But in our third segment, I'm going to be talking to uh, the gaming developer uh, behind that, what his team had to do uh, to make this uh, product or reality that's going to be released in uh, a little over a month. So you don't want to miss that coming up in the third segment. Sean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. All right. To get things start off, my stop at Comic-Con saw some cool actors. Took a picture with Kelly Ripa, Luke Perry, a host of other people out there. You can check it out on social media. Yeah, I'm bragging. Humble brag. But um, also came across some great technology out there. What technology you may say? Well, my next guest is gonna explain what they were doing at Comic-Con and a little bit about their technology too. And I'm so happy to have with me right now, the director of marketing, Ozobot, Adrian White. Adrian, how are you? I'm doing well, it's good to see you, Paul. Good to see you again too. You know, I was telling uh, the audience that you and I met at Comic-Con, they were like, Comic-Con? Technology, yeah, it was tech at Comic Con. Talk mm -hmm. about your Comic Con experience and, and showcasing some tech. Okay, so the reason we're at Comic Con and events like it is um, at Ozobot, we make award winning robots for the next generation of creators. Um, and Comic Con attracts creators. Um, so our robots, they actually teach kids how to code. They're already used to do that in over 10,000 schools. Um, but our mission really goes beyond that. Our mission is to inspire kids to go from consuming technology, which they're doing at, you know, like all of us, rates of seven plus hours a day, and inspire them instead to start creating with technology. So part of the reason we were at Comic-Con, um, you know, Paul, code is a language, and, it, and language really goes hand in hand with um, storytelling and characters. So we were showing off our robot, Evo, at Comic-Con, 
but also our Avengers action skins that go with Evo. So we have Black Widow, Hulk, Ultron, Captain America, and Iron Man. Um, and these action skins, I can tell you a little bit about them. Yeah, let's just definitely, let's definitely talk about them because you know I have uh, I have the Hulk one. I'm going to share that on social media after our interview, so that's pretty cool. So <laughs> let's, let's talk about. It. Okay, perfect. So the Avengers really go along um, hand in hand with the entire Evo experience. So I'll talk about that first. Um, Evo is our newest Ozobot. It's app connected, updatable, and really packed with tech. And all that tech allows the robot to grow with you as, as you learn to code and then start to create and share your ideas. Um, and there's two ways to code with Evo. So one of the first I'll get into by describing Evo's tricks, which you got to check out at Comic-Con, Paul. Um, right out of the box, Evo performs these different tricks where using proximity sensors, it can follow your hand. That's the follow trick. And then you can also turn Evo into a musical instrument, the music trick, where by covering proximity sensors, you're playing musical notes. All of those tricks were built with Ozo Blockly, which is our visual programming language. I can show you really quickly what Ozo Blockly looks like. If you're familiar with things like Scratch or Swift, Paul, it's really similar. Um, but again, we want to get everyone coding and creating with code. So Ozo Blockly has different levels. Right here, you're looking at a beginner level program, but we get all the way up into what we call our master level, where there's things like lists and arrays introduced, um, and that's the kind of program we use to create some of Evo's tricks. Um, but Ozo Blockly is just one of two ways to code with Evo. So you can also start coding screen free, which is really unique. Uh, we have an entire language of what we call color codes. There are different commands for the robot that you make with markers and stickers. So you got to see a little bit of that at Comic-Con as well. Yeah, it was um, cool. Both of those two ways to code with Evo, you can do with your Avenger, Avenger action skin on as well. So you can throw on Black Widow and get into those two ways to code. She's going to respond in character to different color codes. Um, and the Avenger action skins also unlock a new feature called hero interaction. So with that, they can actually recognize each other. Like if Widow um, recognizes an Evo that has a Hulk action skin on, they're going to call out to each other in character. And how important it is, is it for for parents now to make sure that they know about coding and not to hear, here's for the kids, you go ahead and do it. How important it is for, for parents to find out about this as well, too? Um, it's very important. A lot of them are very aware of it right now, at least in, you know, they're aware that it's important for their kids to be learning it. Um, so nine out of 10 parents actually want their kids to be learning to code in school. Um, and our schools are falling a bit short of that. but. We're trying to get better so Ozobot can help. Um, so yeah, parents are aware, but they don't always necessarily know what coding means. They know the word. They've heard the word STEM. STEAM is still coming up in awareness a bit. Um, but with things like Ozoblockly, they can start to discover it themselves. Because again, we have those levels going from absolute beginner coder, like I myself was when I came to join Ozobot, all the way up to master, which our master mode is really on par with what you're going to see in intro to com computer science classes in college. So Adrian, now you, you let the cat out of the bag. You talked about how you have learned coding since you've been with, uh, with Ozobot. Yes. Was it hard to figure out? Because, you know, sometimes when we get a little, we get a little, um, mature in our age, we don't want to change. We don't want to learn certain things. So what was it, was it kind of a challenge to try to, try to learn that or was it kind of a fun experience? Cause sometimes, you know, it kind of reminds me of my father when I was growing up, you know, he didn't want to learn how to play video games because it was just too, too difficult for him to try to try to learn how to, how to use a controller. But yeah. when it comes to coding, once you got into it, was it, was it more, I guess, easier to do? So for me, the color codes were the perfect entry point. I actually have a background in art. So using markers with a robot to me was really intriguing. Um, it's great for younger kids and absolute beginners just to grasp basic coding concepts. And also to get that magic moment where you see you put down a command on paper and the robot actually responds, whether it's turning right or left at an intersection or doing a celebration dance based on the code you put down. Um, so that was a really fun way for me to get started. And now I've gotten more into Ozo Blockly programming. Um, it's, you know, I'm at about a level three, not at level five yet, but I'm working up towards it. Now, Adrian, you can tell me, um, whenever Ozobot does the little dance, do, do you do a little dance too with them and celebrate? 
Yeah, I can't help myself. You know what? And that's what I love about technology. It brings out our, our inner child. And, and what's interesting about about us when we become adults, we, we forget how to have fun because we were taught, you know, at a young age, when you're an adult, you have to be mature. You have to be stoic. You can't have any fun. But nowadays, technology helps us to kind of relive our childhood, even though we're mature, we have, we have to handle business. We'll do it. You know, we'll, we'll become adults, but it's yeah. nice to have fun and, and get in touch with that inner child. Yeah. It's a great point you bring up. Um, cause connecting code to this little robot's actual behavior is part of what keeps kids so engaged and excited. Um, it's a good motivating factor to get them coding, to see the results right before their eyes with Evo. Nice. Nice. So, um, Adrian, anything else you'd like to, uh, articulate to the audience, the viewer, to the listener out there about Ozobot, about Ozo Broccoli, about, about anything out there that you guys are doing? Um, I will say that if you're interested in learning more about Evo, our newest Ozobot, or our Avenger Action Skins, there's plenty of information on our website. That's ozobot.com. We're also sold through Amazon. Um, and you can also check out social media. So just by searching Ozobot on Twitter, you're not just going to see our our content. We actually have a very engaged community of educators and students and kids and parents playing with Evo at home. And it's really inspiring to see some of the things they've done with our two ways to code. Nice, nice. And, and I forgot to ask you a very important question too. We kind of talked about this at Comic-Con about are there some schools that are kind of resistant to to get into the, the STEM or the, the STEAM education when you uh, contact them? What, what's been what's been the reception? No, they're actually begging for resources. Um, they all know about the need and there's even certain standards, if you've heard of things like NGSS and ISTE that they're trying to meet. Um, so they're looking for tools and solutions like ours. And then they're usually really excited to see that there's also a screen-free option for coding. That's something kind of unusual as parents and educators alike are looking for ways to balance, you know, they know that kids need these STEM and STEAM skills, but there's also concerns about screen time. So with our two different ways to code, we actually check all of their boxes. Nice, nice. And I'm getting screamed at in my ear by, by the producers. They, they weren't paying attention. We were talking before and they're like, have her explain what code is again. Have her explain what code is again. So, so Adrian, for for one to maybe just be tuning in now and not having caught up to the beginning of the interview, if you can give a, an explanation of, of what coding is, because these clowns over here don't pay attention. Sure. So code really is a language. It's a universal language that humans can use to communicate with technology. And that's why it's so important for kids to be learning how to code today. Um, and like I mentioned, there's obviously a relationship between language and then storytelling and character. So that's why we have our Avenger action skins and we love seeing kids create stories with Evo and their action skins. Nice. I remember it was 2016. I moderated a, a panel for Black Enterprise uh, magazine and it was a Tech Connect Summit. And uh, we had some engineers there and they were talking about writing code. They explained that the jobs that we all grew up with in California, you know, working at fast food, if we wanted to make a buck while we were in high school are going away because of robotics. Mm -hmm. And he had a call to action. He said, kids, if you're looking for these jobs at McDonald's just to, you know, get you through high school, they're not there. He said, there's a McDonald's in, uh, in uh, Arizona that's fully automated. Yep. And he was like, well, there goes your jobs. What are you going to do? He said, learn how to code. Yes. You can be the person who programs the robotics to do it. Exactly. And there's actually two sides to that for us here at Ozobot. Um, there's the fact that by knowing how to code, you're actually the one in charge of robot teams um, or colleagues, because we do see, you know, robots are going to be coming into every industry in the next two decades, um, not just the ones that everyone names off like manufacturing and fulfillment, but restaurants, like you mentioned, and more. Um, so coding is really important for that reason, but also creativity. So as robots and AI take on more analytical or manual roles, our human creativity becomes more important than ever. So that's why we really focus on both sides of that coin. Um, again, even our color codes emphasize creativity and carry kids into learning our Ozoblockly visual programming language, keeping that creative spirit at heart. 
and we truly appreciate that. You guys must have a have a lot of fun over there in Redondo Beach. Get a chance to work out at the beach, go down, have some fun, and and be all creative. I'm jealous. You know that. Yeah, we're right on the Redondo Beach Pier. We call it Silicon Beach South. So you should come visit. I sure will. And one of my favorite restaurants growing up is over there, El Torito. So we got to go, got to go Taco Tuesday, get some happy hours, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Eva will come too. We'll meet you over there. Definitely. We'll definitely do that. So, so before I let you go again, can you uh, give out the contact information if ones would like to, uh, uh, to, to buy this great innovation? I don't want to say buy, but invest in this great innovation. How can they do it? They can find Evo on our website, ozobot.com. That's O-Z-O-B-O-T.com and also on Amazon. And the Avengers action skins are on those on there as well. Um, Evo is $99 and comes with a set of color code markers and activities. And then there's a free companion app that comes with Evo. Um, and the Avengers action skins, again, we have Black Widow, Hulk, Ultron, Captain America, and Iron Man. So you really get to pick your hero or collect them all. And those retail for $15. Nice. And you know what I'm going to do, Adrian? I'm going to come down there and we're going to shoot some video of me learning how to code so I can get some of these these other old cats to <laughs> see there's nothing to be afraid of. We could do it. We could have some fun. And if you buy it for your kid, invest in your kid, invest for yourself to learn how to code yourself because you never know the job that you're working at may get taken over by robotics to learn all these things before it's too late. And Adrian yeah. and, the, and the crew over at, at Ozobot can can show you how to learn how to code real quick. So Adrian, thanks for joining me, my dear. Look forward to catching up with you. Thank you so much, Paul. It's my pleasure. I'd like to thank Adrian White for joining me from Ozobot. Talking about Ozo Broccoli. That's what we're doing. It was funny. When I was talking with Adrian before the interview, I was just like, uh Ozobot, Ozo no, it's Ozobot. Think of the movie Breaking. Remember Ozone? And Turbo, so Ozone, Ozobot, Ozo Broccoli. Make sure you definitely check them out and learn how to code both adults and children alike. You really need to learn how to do this. All right, when we get back, we're going to talk about accessibility in video games. Going to be joined by an accessibility gaming icon. Going to be joining me. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And coming up in our last segment, the Amazing Spider-Man game. <laughs> Get a chance to, to play it. Invite only. Immediate invite. It was awesome. I'll be talking to a developer coming up in the third segment of the show. All right. We'll be back right after these messages. In this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul. I'm a dead slain in the tech zone.